We officially have used car market data for March and it's less than ideal. Let's dig into it. Wholesale used vehicle prices increased by 1.5% in March from February, and the Mannheim Used Vehicle Value Index rose to 238.1%, which is down 2.4% from a year ago. And while this is down 2.4% from a year ago, it's a 3.5% increase from February. So prices have risen in the last month, but they are still down year over year, granted not as down as we would like to see. The three-year-old index increased by 1.6%. And as you guys know, the three-year-old index is an index of vehicles that are three years old. Sort of self-explanatory, I suppose. MMR retention was at 99.8%. And as we know, and as we've discussed before on this channel, MMR retention is the price that a car has sold for versus that MMR value of that vehicle. If MMR retention is at 100%, that means that cars are selling for their true MMR value. If it's below 100%, that means that cars are selling for less than their MMR value. And over 100% means that cars are selling for above their MMR value. So because MMR retention is currently at 99.8%, this means that cars are selling for slightly below their true MMR value. The daily sales conversion rate increased to 65.4%, but this is normal for this time of year. If we compare it to March of 2019, it's pretty even with what we saw four years ago. But one important thing to note is that according to Mannheim Market Report, the daily sales conversion rate was stronger at the beginning of the month and it actually declined as the month went on. So at the beginning of the month, the market conditions benefited the seller, whereas at the end of the month, they were more beneficial to the buyer. Inventory was down from February and fleet vehicle sales are up and have actually seen a 28% increase year over year. And while Mannheim Market Report is an extremely valuable resource to give us a gauge on how the car market is currently in present day, it's not the only resource that I like to look to. So let's head over to one of my other favorites, which is the Car Guru's Car Value Index. So right here, I have the Car Guru's Car Value Index chart pulled up and it's pulling up data over the last year. So from April 1st, 2022 until April 1st, 2023. And you can see here from the chart that from like April to about September, prices were relatively flat. And then we saw prices steeply decline from September until the first part of this year, January, at the end of January, 2023. But then over the last two months, prices have been increasing sharply. And we've seen this across multiple makes, models, and even segments of vehicles. If we scroll down to body style, we can get a glimpse of how each individual body style vehicle is performing. And you can see here that every single one of these cars is up over the last 30 days, with the exception of a convertible, which is down 1.22%. But even with that negative movement for the convertible, you can see that it's actually up 13.62% year over year. Year, which is crazy. Over the last 30 days, crossovers are up 2.2%, SUVs are up 2.87%, pickups are up 1.68%, and minivans are up 2.11%. You can see about half of the vehicles are up over the last 90 days, and this includes vans, crossovers, SUVs, pickup trucks, and coupes. The silver lining here is that at least the year-to-date data shows that most of the vehicles are still down, with the exception of convertible and coupes. If we scroll down to makes, you can see that it is essentially more of the same. Unfortunately, the vast majority of makes and models are up in the last 30 days, with the exception of Hummer, Lamborghini, McLaren, Porsche, Rolls-Royce, Scion, as well as Tesla and the Wagoneer. Some cars are even seeing some pretty steep increases, including Acura, which has increased 3.12% over the last 30 days. Dodge, which has increased 3.75%, Mercury, which has increased 4.91%, and even Saturn, which has increased 5.72%. Similar to the body style portion of this chart, you can see that it's a bit of a hit or a miss whenever it comes to 90-day data, and about 50% of the different makes and models have increased, while the other 50% has decreased. And if we look at year-over-year -year data, we're still seeing most of the vehicles in the red, and they have seen a decline year-over-year. -year which obviously in an ideal situation, we would like to see declines in prices for not only year over year data, but also 90 day and 30 day data as well. But at least we are still seeing negative prices over the last year. And that these last 30 to 60 days that we've seen some price increases haven't offset all of the progress that we made over the last year. But we will need to see prices turn around quick so that we don't see these year over year prices into the green once again. And now let's head over to cars.com and let's check out some individual vehicle listings to see how these different listings are faring in this current car market. 
So here we are at cars.com and I chose the same filters that I always choose whenever I'm going through this exercise. I chose a 2017 as the minimum year, the maximum price of $40,000 and the maximum mileage at 60,000 miles. The goal here is to create a search for sort of the average car that the average American would be looking for. And if we scroll down, you can almost immediately see that there are some price drops. This 2019 Honda CRV EXL has a $200 price drop. This 2019 Dodge Charger SXT has a $491 price drop. And this 2019 Honda Pilot has a $200 one. If we continue to scroll down, you can see that the price drops continue. Let's take a look at this 2020 Ford Explorer XLT, which has a $800 price drop. If you scroll down to the price history, you can see that the data isn't something to write home about. Sure, the car was price dropped by $800, but earlier in March, it was increased by $700. So in reality, there was just a price drop of $100, as you can see right here. And the car has been listed for 57 days on the market. If we continue to scroll down, you can see that there is a Dodge Charger 2022 year model with a $4,008 price drop. It is important to keep in mind that this car is still listed as a fair deal, so it certainly isn't a below market value, but let's take a look at this price history. Now you can see here that this car has been on the market for 93 days and it's actually had a total of $3,808 in price reductions because you can see back in January, whenever this car was listed, it was listed for $33,795. Then shortly after it was listed about three weeks later, it was increased in price by $1,200. And then since then, the sellers of this vehicle have been slowly chipping away at the price and now it's sitting at $29,987. Definitely better than the last car that we looked at but I still think that we can get better. Let's take a look at this 2020 Honda Passport, which is advertised as a great deal, being as though it's $1,819 below market value, and it has a $3,911 price drop recently. If we scroll down, you can see that this car has been listed for 34 days, it had a $3,911 price reduction, and it was listed in March, the beginning of March, and over the course of the last month, it has seen a series of decreases in price, bringing the price from $34,888 to $30,977. And for the last few examples, let's take a look at some Teslas, because one of my favorite pastimes in recent months has been seeing how Teslas have been faring in the used car market, given the fact that Tesla keeps slashing their prices on their new cars. If we filter to the Model 3, you can see that there are just an absolute ton of price drops. That's because these vehicle sellers have had to drop their prices in order to stay competitive with Tesla themselves. Let's take a look at this 2018 Model 3 Performance. And you can see here that this car has been listed for 38 days. It's seen a total of $2,698 in price reductions. It was originally listed in February on the 28th for $38,964. It is currently sitting at $36,266. This 2018 Tesla Model 3 Long Range has seen some extreme price drops over the last year. If we scroll down to the history, you can see that it's been listed for 342 days and it's had $19,500 in price reduction. It was listed last May for $49,495 and currently in April, it's listed for $29,995 with its most recent price reduction being $3,000. Now, I don't know if that price reduction is a reflection on the car market or if it's more of a reflection of this owner simply pricing their car way too high back in May whenever they were initially trying to sell it. Because let's face it, a 2018 Model 3 is simply not worth over 40 grand. Now, what all of this data is showing us today is really one clear thing, and that is car prices are going up, at least in the short term. And I know that I sound like a broken record on this channel, but if you are somebody who's in the market to buy a used car, I would encourage you to wait. The reality is car prices are going to go down, and it may take a few months in order for the market to change once again. But once it does, I do think that we'll begin to see a pretty significant decline, similar to what we saw last year. In fact, I am even practicing what I preach. I've been looking at buying myself a new car that I can daily drive on my own while also renting it on Ontario part-time, and I've actually delayed that purchase because right now it just simply doesn't make sense to buy a car. Car prices are high, interest rates are high, and at the end of the day, inventory still isn't where it needs to be. For these reasons, I would encourage you to wait on purchasing that used car. But like always, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, if you have anything to add, I would love to hear it. So make sure to leave a comment down below. And while you guys are at it, make sure to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.